And I like this one right here. Do you see what that says? Spare room. Disney beanies. That's very good. I'm happy to see that. $278. That's for sure. Shake those rat poops off. With Soul's hammer, I now commence this move. Let's go. How we do it? What do we got here? What? Come on. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's cool. 1932. I know we like finding these. These are little vintage, maybe even antique handkerchiefs. Oh, nice. Look at that. That's a whole bunch more handkerchiefs right here. What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, we are back at the unit. It's right back there. But a little weather complication today. It's raining. <laughs> it is raining. I didn't even check the weather when I left. I knew that it you know, kind of felt like it might come, but cross the hill, go over the hill, and it's raining. So I brought my truck. I don't know why I did that. I should have brought the van, but the van still got a bunch of stuff in it, and I didn't feel like unloading it. So anyways, I'm with the truck. You know what that means? I'm probably only be able to take a dump load because otherwise... Um, I don't want the stuff to get wet, so we'll go in there. We'll poke around today. Let's go through some boxes and see what we find. I make the plans up as I go. Let's get started. All right. There it is. Luckily, last time I was here, I took a... You saw what I took, right? I took a whole bunch of stuff out, and I took that to the dump this morning. The couches... Uh, yeah, took just couches. I took a whole bunch of cardboard, a whole bunch of boxes. And that's a good thing because before I've been dragging all this stuff out and uh, it would have been out in the rain today. So yeah, cuts down my amount of work and creates much more of a clear area. Let's take a look at what we got back there. Yeah, all right. It's starting to look good. This desk, you can see it's all like mm, squashed. It's particle board. I'll probably tear that apart, take it to the dump. It's been all rat pooped on. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we got a lot of boxes back here. So maybe we start pulling these boxes out and go through them. Oh man, it's a, it's another wall. It's like I keep clearing wall after wall after wall. It looks like we only have two more walls to go and then the fun's gonna be over. Definitely plenty of work to do today. We got this thing here too. The uh, toolbox. Maybe we'll get to that today. I don't know. I was planning on bringing some smaller boxes to transfer the good tools into. All right. Well, anyways, let me uh, let me get geared up, and then we'll get started. All right, guys, check this out. I am putting gloves on. If you can believe that. Yes, I am. I know. I know. You're all in shock and all, but <laughs> it is happening. Okay. I'm just clearing a little room so we can get to. These boxes right here. And I like this one right here. Do you see what that says? Spare room. Disney beanies. Okay. That's a good sign because it was taped up. Really nice. And then they're in plastic on top of that. That's very good. I'm happy to see that. All right. A couple uh, Dalmatians there. Yeah. There's some more Disney. More Disney. This is awesome. These are actually in sealed bags. The bags hadn't be, even been open. And look, at each one was six bucks whenever they were bought. That's a good. Winnie the Pooh, little gang there. Mickey and Minnie, sealed bag. Uh, Christmas, Little Mermaid and the other dude. Dumbo and the mouse. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a bigger one here. What's this, Fantasia or something? It's cool. The problem with wearing gloves is I can't touch the screen turn the screen on and know where it's oriented. It's one of the reasons I don't like wearing gloves, but look at this 16 unit, $278. Wowza, wowza. Man, there's a bunch of them. There's so many. All right, these will definitely be going in our live auction, guys. And if you're not sure what I mean by live auction, well, let me tell you, live auction every Monday night at 5, 5 p.m. Pacific on our YouTube channel. Okay, just on the YouTube channel. And 
that's where we'll be auctioning these off usually in lots of like anywhere from like 10 to 15 per lot and that is your chance to be able to buy some of these if you're into this sort of thing if you're into plush or disney or both you can buy these in our live auction on youtube okay guys i am attempting to get up here i'm on this desk i sure hope it doesn't break under me that'd be one way to break it down but not the way i was intending okay so up here some crusty pillows uh there's good that's the tire to the bike all right we found the bike a few episodes ago all right there's the pads for the patio furniture and that's good they're not all wrecked up like i thought they might be okay what's this looks like a blower but it feels too light could be something different up here it's actually not even that as infested as the other parts of this locker no don't go <laughs> definitely some rat poop up here but and it's open i'm sure they've gotten into this tree i think the tree is going to be a loss this thing is moving around awfully easy i think it might be empty there's some weight to this tree <clears throat> that's for sure shake those rat poops off i don't want to dump the tree out but it's going down all right this thing is empty that sucks looking back here though a lot more boxes that is a fridge for sure right there that sucks so we got two fridges all right now i gotta get down here somewhere <laughs> all right what's in here let's see i don't think it's a blower sheets no what is this parts to the blower okay yeah that's what that is Hmm, well, that's too bad. That was a beautiful tree. And you can see the rats have nested in there too, and oh, there's rat poop down there. This is uh, unfortunately contaminated. It's going to dump. It's too bad. Probably could have gotten an easy hundred bucks for that. Well, well, well. Hello, corner. That opened up very nicely. With Thor's hammer, I now commence. All right, you guys, not the best angle, but it's what I got to work with here. Let's try to take this thing out from here in pieces. Let's go! Yep, that's how we do it. Actually, I think on his last leg. Isn't that amazing how that great big huge desk can fit right there? <laughs> Pretty amazing. Okay. It's very lightweight that metal cabinet. Oh good. Alright, I see something really good right here. We got two more patio chairs. So we got a, we already have a big table and two. They were actually by the front. 
I was, I'd give it up hope we're going to find the other two. Here they are. Completely hidden, completely buried, but good find, all right? Because it's much easier to sell a set with four than with two. It looks like three more pieces to that suitcase set. I found only one piece so far, and I donated it the other day. And it looks like here we got three more pieces. Uh, Coleman stove right there. Garage stuff, light bulbs, that's not good. But, uh, yeah, looks like more of the same type of stuff. So let's keep digging. Ooh, and this right here, steel shelving set right here. That's pretty good. Gorilla rack. Oh, that'll be a few bucks right there. All right, let's see what we got in here. Okay. Oh, I see some interesting stuff in here. What is this for? I found some keys early on, but there's nothing in there. I mean, I'm like 90% sure there's nothing in there. I'm not sure why they would lock that. We'll take it home, see if we can get, find that key. If not, we'll cut that open. It's a good toolbox. Coca-Cola thermometer. That's neat. And this might go to that. I don't think so, but there's a chance. All right, got some more of these cleaners. That is not good stuff. That's old, crusty, rusty. And what box would be complete without some junk mail? Oh, that's, that's unreal. We got a nice flag, oars here, moth. Look at that. Why is that in there? That's pretty interesting. It looks like it's leather wrapped. Doesn't smell like anything, but that's a very interesting bottle. Huh. Wow. Okay. Cognac. España. Spain. We'll have to clean that up before we sell it. I think that's kind of interesting. All right, now this is what I was talking about right here. McCullough electric chainsaw. That's a good find. Look at this. Aladdin thermos. That's a nice one. It's heavy duty. Right. Here's that blower. We found the box for it. Alright, that's too bad. There's, it looks like a Michelob beer uh, mirror. That's all shattered. See that? Yeah, that's where I found it. So that wasn't on me. got here what come on oh okay never mind <laughs> Jeez, you see that I mean I was like first I'm like oh come on there's nothing in here I'm missing the good half yeah got some more beanie babies in the cases that's a really good these are gonna go straight in my car all right, I hope I find another one of those Jerry Garcia ones. That was cool. <clears throat> That's a waste. A little plastic little shelf right here. Dang it. See down here, that looks like a toolbox probably. And then I got this big wood trunk right here. And that's interesting. I'm going to save some of that for next time. Let me get through these boxes. Since I know I'm taking a junk load, try to identify as much junk as possible. Yep, I had a feeling. More junk mail. My goodness. These guys have got to learn to throw stuff away. That's how they got in this mess. Okay, it says sprinkler supplies. And that's what it looks like. Yep, okay, that's good flea market stuff right there. Look at this brand new stuff. All right, it's all tools. It's all tools and uh, garage stuff. Which is good. It's good, but it's just not, not big money. It's a gutter cleaner. And that's a nice squeegee right there. Very nice. Oh, this one's coming home with me though. <laughs> we use that for shipping. What's this thing? Bring your golf balls. All right, that'll go home with me too. All right, another good flea market box. It's a file cabinet. Yep. With surprise, surprise, more paperwork, junk mail. Now there's the Makita power tools, probably for that drill. Man, 
I sure wish they had some envelopes full of money sitting around. No such luck. Oh my goodness, more stink. Okay, wait, wait. Back it up just a sec. This might be a little bit better. I see American Rifleman magazine. Okay, so. Take these stupid gloves off. Can't be careful enough with the gloves. That's cool. 1932. Wow. Found some of these magazines like early, early on. On like the first day. A's magazine. Okay, got a bunch of A's magazines here. Alright, I'll probably auction these off, I think. Looks like it's from, all from the late 80s. Photos. There's another one of those tombstone epitaph uh, re reproduction old paper. And there's another photo album here. Ah, here's a stand to a TV. It's like a stainless steel, too. Pretty nice, but I haven't found that TV. I haven't found any TVs in here. Not yet, anyways. It could be over here. I, I doubt it, though. Okay, there's another little doll. It doesn't look like anything too special. It's just a little plush. Put that aside. Oh, here's a couple of things of yarn. We get a lot of requests for our yarn lately. I guess yarn's gotten hard to find. Crayons. Some honorable discharge paperwork. I'll give that back to the owners. There's some interesting looking stuff in here. Okay, like this, for example. Let me get my gloves off. Okay, let's see what we got here. Got a, it's an old wallet. Whoops. Hmm. Nothing in it. Very old though. All right. Huh. 1935, look at this. It says, to keep my friends is my delight. So in this book, I pray you'll write. They're asking their friends to write in the book in the 1930s. That's kind of neat. I like that old stuff. More old photos here. Some kind of operator's license from 1961. Identification and card case. That's a little photo album. Girl Scouts pin. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, that's cool. I've never seen one of those before. Not like that, anyways. Uh, here's another wallet, maybe? Let's see. Yeah. yeah, this one's nice. I mean, this one's like, you could use it right now. This is a nice wallet. Custom made, probably. What is this? Oh, this is a calligraphy pen, I think. Fountain pen, yeah. Home run whistle, Amtrak. Okay, look at this. I know we like finding these. These are little vintage, maybe even antique handkerchiefs. And look at the detail on this. The embroidery, very nice. Very pretty. Oh yeah, look at that. Dang, that's nice. I'm definitely putting those aside. Another little book that her friends wrote to her, 1937. Old greeting cards, birthday, etc. Well, that's a neat uh, picture frame. Handmade, I think. Oh, nice. Look at that. That's a whole bunch more handkerchiefs right here. Dang, they're nice. Just like the other ones, too. Oh, this is a good find. There's a big collector market for this sort of thing. Oh, man. These are something special. These are probably from the 1930s, also. I love finding this stuff. Okay, and then we have this, which is a Fireman Santa. <laughs> That's a neat piece. Neat piece, Fireman Santa. All right, I think he's gonna go to the flea market. Ooh, all of a sudden it got dark back here. Ooh, what's this box right here? Mmm, it's light. I was hoping it might be Beanie Babies, but I don't think so. Nah, too light for that. Actually, we're getting down to it, guys. We don't have that much stuff to go through. I got like maybe one more trip here. Oh, that's kind of sad. Coca-Cola brand, cookie jar, Santa cookie jar, that's neat. Hmm. These, I thought these would be empty. This is not empty. Let's see what's in here. Oh, what do we got here? 
we've got a little a little bit of something something here yeah not much okay and i saw this i got excited but it's nothing nothing Oh man, <laughs> that's dangerous out here with the wind. Oh, it's a big snowman in there. Bummer, it's too windy. I'll have to look at that later. It's starting to rain again too. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna have to cut this one short again because uh, it's just well now it lightened up, but it was just pouring a second ago. You can see I got a little bit wet. I was trying to strap this down. I got another good load. See that? The back seat's empty though. I didn't want to put any of that dirty stuff in my back seat. Put a couple of the goodies that we found in the back seat. Not too much. Yeah, this is uh, another dump load. The chair, uh, I noticed scratch marks or bite marks or chew marks or whatever on that chair. Also, just picking up and moving it. I like this the smell of rodent on that chair unbearable i would not give that to somebody <laughs> it, it's gonna need too much the other one the couch right there it's wrapped in plastic i'm still hopeful i can give that away but otherwise we're gonna dump it i'm making a good progress yesterday full truckload today full truckload really i need to come with my trailer and just bang it all out and knock it out and then maybe put some of these big pieces on, take them to the flea market or something. I gotta make this thing go away because I got auctions coming up and we wanna buy the next great locker like this one. This has been a great locker. We gotta find the next one. All right, you guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this little short adventure. We found more good stuff today, more stuff for our auctions. I hope to see you guys there. Um, but we'll be back here, dig some more very soon. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lockin' Nuts.